Okay, so we're turning a few cars around at the moment and giving them a bit of a hit. But we got the plates on to fall in one. <laughs> they look pretty good. And this is how you wash your Corvette while you've got the um, while you've got the top down. What you do is you run it inside in here in a second and you chamois it very very fast. And uh, oh yeah, forgot the plate at the front. Sorry about all the noise, we're still working here. Nothing describes me more than the fallen one, I like that. Okay, um, it did come off a uh, TV show called Lucifer 2. I may have stolen it. Alright, um, this one's relatively clean over here. There's a few other cars. <laughs> and this one's Sammy's, which we're just moving over into the other shed. Because I'm out of room. I've got to do some work on the Corvette and I, I need to work underneath it so I can't put a car underneath it. So I've cleaned it for her and haven't cleaned inside yet. I've still got to do that. Um, oh, it's better air conditioning. I tell you what, there's nothing to be said for. Oh, goodness, a bit of air conditioning in the car. And uh, yeah, actually, it's not too bad inside. She's. Um, She's due for a clean, but uh, uh, you know, sometimes I'm a little bit heavily critical of um, Sam and cars when really I should look at how I keep my own. I'm pretty good, but you know, like everybody, we all have our failings. Um, see, we go from reliable over there to pretty reliable, that thing drives beautifully, to super fast to Sammy's car. Uh, look, what do you do? All right, oh, and her black one, that there's no point cleaning that because two days later it'll just be looking the same. Don't know how it works with that car, but I wonder if we can drop the clutch and burn out on the sand. Better not, it should kill me. Alright, I'll be nice with it. Oh, look, there's my baby. Babies. Alright, so yeah, it's a little bit of a turnaround today, getting a few things just um, into place. And uh, actually, we're doing a little cutout in here. All of this will be veranda right across this whole section. And there's another garage section, uh, one car, don't overstate it. Uh, one car will fit in once we do a cut back there. And we'll just put another electric roller door there. And it's probably where Sam's will end up, to be honest, um, because uh, we just, even with this new shed, which is great, I mean, I love the new shed. And uh, Shilsey's done a fantastic job, um, but he just can't make more cars fit into a certain space. And I, I was a bit disappointed in that. I thought Shilsey could, you know, do like some sort of magic where, um, you know, 17 cars fit into a four car garage I'm going to put that down on my comment slip you know when he says can you fill out and tick the number of stars for putting up a shed I'll say oh I've got a bit of a problem I thought we could fit 17 cars but uh, anyway alright um, by the way Sammy's car here has got a um, uh, incredible 2014 motor in it it absolutely just flies I mean on the K's at the moment it's showing 153,000 K's um, which um, sort of normally I'd say I'd be a bit scared of to be honest I'd be starting to say look time to um, throw it away but uh, this was the one that came with about oh god $240,000 worth of receipts um, the guy that owned this one went to town on it and uh, uh, it's fast it is truly fast um, sometimes I sort of drive with Sam and I kind of think there are better things I could do than drive with Sam but uh, yeah, it revs alright yeah see you know, it sort of hits that six and a half seven grand pretty easily um, normal boxes start to sort of hear some funny valve noises at about you know 6,000, 6,500. This thing will well, well up to 7,500. So it's, it's um, trust me, I've been out with Sam's been driving. I'm not the lunatic, trust me. All right, um, okay, back to uh, what am I back to? The Corvette. I'm going to go and uh, just chuck that on the ramps. And believe it or not, we actually steam clean inside the shed. I know that sounds a bit crazy, but. We don't make a lot of mess, but make a little bit, but we can get to so much uh, steam cleaning inside the shed on the hoist. I can bring the hoist outside, but I just couldn't be bothered. I would rather clean up the mess today. It's such a warm day, it'll, it'll, it'll clean up very fast. Okay, 73s. It's my day of looking after everybody's cars, apparently. Um, but um, uh, took the Corvette for a little run up the road and back uh, up to the neighbours, and um, oh, man, you know, and by the way, that, that's legal because it's... Um, not a not a real road at that point so uh, nobody can do you for that bit uh, but I'll have plate actually quite seriously I'll have plates on it next week so um, um, it's um, just about I've just got to chuck it on the trailer take it down to um, uh, one of the boys down in Wodonga uh, got a really good uh, suggestion from uh, 
Oh yeah, a little bit of a, 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 a comment here. Uh, 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 Pete uh, from uh, Albury Wodonga Car Freighters. Um, he's got some great contacts. Uh, not to mention, if you need a car moved, he's your man. I tell you what, um, he's moved a lot of my vintage cars and bits and pieces and older classics. And and I tell you, um, oh mate, you, you, you could not find a better person. So uh, just remember that um, uh, Peter's definitely your man. Uh, it's pretty easy to find in your, if you're in the Albury Wodonga area. Just look under Albury Wodonga Car Transporters or Car Freighters. Car Transporters, I think it is. Sorry and uh, he'll look after you. Certainly looked after us, I can tell you. Okay, back to work. Cheers.